Greetings, this is James P. Madonna of the Facebook group, Everything is Food. And I had a Mega Life 21. I am here at uh, H Mart, Honda Room, big Korean market. Look how, look how beautiful this produce is. How impeccable it is. Look at the pomegranates. Look at, look at all this. Outstanding. This woman is cutting delicious Korean pears at H Mart. Are you shy? Are you are you shy about about the internet? Are you are you uh, you want to be on the internet or no? Not really. All right. But anyway. Anyway. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Korean yeah. pears. See that? <laughs> from from H Mart. Much it much, it's like the Korean yam and sweet potato. <laughs> okay, there you go. Look at that. Look at that beautiful big Korean pear for the holidays. Korean pear. Korean pear. Is it true that the pears only grow two fruit on a tree? Yeah. All right, she's cutting it up. Samples? Sample right. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Look at all this fruit. Look, it's all per in perfect condition. Okay. <laughs> perfect condition. Now it's time for me to buy what I have to get. Nah, some belong here. Okay. These taste better than American yams and sweet potatoes. The Oriental sweet potato, Korean sweet potato. Alright. So these are the ones, of course these are the inferior the inferior uh, American yams that have very little flavor compared to these. These are the ones I'm picking. Let me show you the one I picked. I'm here at H Mart, Little Ferry, New Jersey, large nationwide chain of Korean markets. This is the one I'm. It's going to be cooked with my my five pound uh, Shady Brook Farms turkey breast. All right. You think this should be enough for me for Thanksgiving? All right. Well, that's the one I'm taking. I guess it could be used for other purposes. What do you think? I got. A, I'm getting a little one for my isopods. Okay. Small one for my isopod colony. Colony. All right. All right, let's see what, what free samples I can enjoy here at H Mart. I know I need uh, other items. Okay, I'm here at H Mart, Korean market. I'm trying to decide on a fermented, I'm trying to locate a fermented bean paste. I got it narrowed down to fermented black bean paste. All right, as opposed to a fermented uh, soybean paste. So this is consider considerably cheaper than the Japanese miso. This is the Korean version. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with. I don't know if it's if it's black soy. When they say black bean, I gotta see what. What it says here. I don't know. Let me try to read this. Ingredients. Ingredients. Uh, oh, it is a soybean. Yeah, but I better. I can't. I don't want MSG. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I think I see MSG. Uh, I think I'm going to pass on that. Monoso monosodium glutamate. No, I'm going to pass on that. Let me see, hopefully this won't, hopefully the plain soy 
Is this upside down? Huh, the label is upside down. Oh, let's see. Soybean, first ingredient, soybean. I don't know. It's so hard to read this. I don't know. Let me try this again. Oh, it doesn't say it, so I'm assuming it doesn't have it. Okay, James P. Madonna, but everything is food. Facebook group in Mega Life 21. We have Udon Noodle at H Mart. <laughs> there we go. Big I bags. Buy one, free. buy one, get one free. Udon noodle with uh, green, green onions, chopped green onions. Yeah, 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 this one. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, this one. Okay, very good. I'm going to try it as soon as I'm done with this. Yeah, you're going to buy this one? $4.99. $4.99. $4.99. $4.99. $4.99. Mm -hmm. $4.99. Mm -hmm. $4.99. Now we have teriyaki udon. Nine ninety nine a case, All right? There we go. Here's the wonderful seafood department. Very fresh, no bad smell. Everything here is very fresh at H Mart. All right, teriyaki udon. I'm gonna try it now. All right, teriyaki udon. All right, here we got in the fish department, pom golden pompano, frozen golden pompano, old tilapia. All right, in bags. What's this? Frozen milkfish, two ninety nine a pound. Very popular in the Philippines. It is a freshwater fish. This is my first time seeing milkfish. Here we have some very large uh, frozen squid. Uh, it says Norway mackerel, pike mackerel, yellowtail, uncleaned of course, un unclean. Um, blue crab. Red snapper, striped bass, butterfish, silver pompano, bluefish, bags of mussels, and we got various shrimp, tiger shrimp, probably farm raised Ecuadorian shrimp. There's some jumbo tiger shrimp, fresh squid. Um, now back to the crabs. <clears throat> we teach you people, you jabronis, this is how you handle a crab so they don't bite you. You grab them by the back fin. All right, if you grab them by the back fin, they can't get you. These are females. They have um, orange tips instead of blue claws, blue tips that the males have. So if you grab them by the back fin, they will not grab you, okay? You got that? Upside down, females have a white apron. Males have a white, thin apron. This is the apron, by the way. All right, this is the apron. All right, that's it. I'm not gonna press my luck. Oh, oh God.
I'm not going to press my luck. Here we got some more samples. Let's see. Lobster. Five lobsters on ice. Uh, whole array of fresh seafood. Salmon steaks. Filets. It's all here. It's all here. Um, all right. Seafood, packaged seafood, various kinds. There, of course, the octopus, clams, tuna, fish eggs, otherwise known as roe. Well, this is a good price. Salmon steak. Um, they're big, fresh salmon steak, salmon filet, here you got frozen pollock, croakers, which are very bony, swai, which is a Southeast Asian uh, catfish, uh, black cod steaks, and various fish balls, shrimp, pollock flavored, uh, cuttlefish, which I had before. I like the cuttlefish. All right. All right. They look like, all right. Snow crab clusters. Snow crab. All right. And uh, here we got uh, abalone, live abalone. Abalone in the, in the aquarium and uh, the uh, ge geoduck, the giant piss clam, the giant pisses. Look at look at the schlong on these guys. Look at the look at the schlong on them. Live geoduck clam. They are very well hung. I guarantee. Oh, this video is going to be excellent, excellent for it. The Facebook group, everything is food. Just want to say hi to Natalia Rodriguez in San Diego, California, and uh, Mario Petrus and Salvatore Mercurio of Everything is Food. Look at look at the freaking schlong on, on these clams, the, the sausages. Unbelievable. I guarantee. Okay, here, here we have some live abalone, a rather expensive shellfish, popular on the Pacific coast, in the Pacific Ocean. Abalone, a nice relaxing waterfall, great filtration system here. Very relaxing. And then back to the schlong. I mean, back to the geodeck. Please do not touch the fish. Okay, you hear that, ladies? Ha ha ha. Abalone. Okay, James P. Madonna, I just want to show you the slow masticating juicer being sold at H Mart. And then she juiced it. All right, uh, premium slow juicer. Um, really? So it's on sale for a hundred dollars each, and I, I tried some, and it has a pulp ejector, and um, I'm not sure about the company, but you can look it up. Who? Who horse? Cool horse, cool horse, cool horse. Premium quality, slow juicer. That's what you're looking for, a slow juicer. Now, here's a steamer for forty dollars. is a is a multi stack steamer, which means you can you can steam a whole entire meal, including oh yeah, whole eggs too. How about that? 
you got corn in there and uh, uh, sweet Korean sweet potato if you want one, it's okay. or you can use one you can use two, two. Or, or if you buy extra maybe you can put a hundred you know who knows oh by the way I tried this machine for a hundred dollars and it really works the foot massager it's superior I hate to say it it's superior to the human hand that's how good it is but but I had mine on high oh it's not a hundred oh it's I'm sorry it's 70 69 look at that I mean 70 round it off and here's a shoulder massager by the same company Cole house cool house look it up a few if there's any reviews on the internet but anyway a kneading massager interesting but th but this one really works I had mine cranked up to high uh, this woman has hers on uh, maybe medium who knows yeah but mine was cranked up and it, I highly recommend it this is I wonder if this company sells more compartments but three three is enough this should be enough but this is interesting this uh, slow juicer by Kuhau House. And, and what I like is I like the um, the price of course a hundred dollars I might it's very tempting and uh, and it has a pulp ejector which means you, you don't have to stop the machine to clean it. All right. To show this. But that's about it. All right. Back to the cool, the cool house premium slow juicer. All right. Now we. Now she's. It's how, it's how you get most of the juice from everything. Slow juicer. You get a nice dry pulp. Yes, I tried some before. I had to take a video of those clams. I thought they were, it was very funny. So, the one, the big, the big, by the abalone. Okay. See how the pulp is coming out nice and dry. You don't have to stop the machine and clean it all the time. You just keep on running it. Try I know chickens will eat that. Pigs, maybe. I don't know. There's no flavor in it. Okay. It's probably all fiber with no flavor. Here it goes into the pulp ejector. Saturday is an adventure. So I have till the end of December to decide.